knowledge, teamwork and game smarts. These are the ingredients turning your everyday players into tomorrow's professional gamers. But to truly appreciate the future competitors of esports, we need to pay homage to the moments from the past. Arena Esports takes you on a trip back in time to enjoy the greatest plays from the world of esports. Since its inception, the Global StarCraft League, or GSL, has been the pinnacle of competitive South Korean StarCraft II, a grand tournament that all competitors dream of winning. The Africa TV GSL Super Tournament 1 was a marathon four-day spectacle that took place in the city of Seoul. Sixteen master strategists earned their way to compete in the tournament. Of these competitors, nine of them maimed Protoss, five Zerg, and only two Terran. To say the tournament was stacked in Protoss's favour was an understatement. Circle is square and square is circle. After the first round of the tournament concluded, all five Zerg, one Terran and two Protoss players were eliminated, leaving a lone Terran warrior to stand against an army of Protoss players. Gumio, a respected past GSL winner, was the last Terran player in the tournament. His opponent in the quarterfinals would be the multi-time GSL champion, Stats. The first two games of the set saw Gumio dismantle stats with an incredibly robust mech-based composition. In Game 3, Gumio mixed it up, focusing on a highly mobile bio setup. This allowed him to simultaneously attack stats at multiple areas. With far superior positioning across the set, Gumio advanced to the semi-finals. Saving the super turns. You did it. We have a reason to keep watching. Um, wow. Great play here. GG. I am blown away. Gumio then went toe to toe against previous world champion and Protoss prodigy, Parting. Gumio went into the match with one goal in mind to hide his main strategies as much as possible for the Grand Finals. To do this, Gumio employed several unorthodox and varied strategies after winning Game 1 with his aggressive mech army. Game 2 was an amazing back-and-forth match that saw Gumio delay his third base and utilise supply drops over mules to expand his infrastructure all while ensuring that he didn't mine out his resources too quickly. In the third, Gumio tried a risky rush strategy that had him proxy his production buildings right next to Parting's starting location. The Protoss star ultimately defeated Gumio's composition of Reapers and Cyclones with super micromanagement, dodging attacks by repeatedly loading and unloading his Stalkers into his warp prisms, bringing the series to 2-1. The fourth game would be short-lived, as a precise timing attack of siege tanks and marines by Gumio caught parting off guard. This secured the Terran player's win, sending him directly to the Grand Finals. Gumio's opponent in the Grand Finals was the highly unpredictable Classic. The four-time Premier Event victor was ranked second for WCS Korea at the time and was looking to add another GSL Super Tournament to his long list of successes. The finals of the GSL Super Tournament began with Gumio rushing towards a Widow Mine harassment strategy. Oh, here we go. I don't think he quite has enough stock shots. That is a huge blow. Nine kills. Taking yeah. out that many workers. This is a terrible start here. He didn't see it. He was not looking at that. A marathon 20-minute game in which both players traded armies several times over had Classic completely on the back foot. 
perfect size storms allowed Classic to claw his way back and take game one after playing the majority of the game from behind. Comfortable with his opponent, Classic took game two after non-stop aggression broke down Gumio's defences. This brought the set to 2-0 in Classic's favour. Gumio kicked off game three by rallying a powerful blockade upon Classic's base, blocking him from expanding. In response, Classic implemented a masterful hold by splitting his Blink Stalkers up and cutting off reinforcements. The blockade was then taken out on all sides by Classic's forces. With his back now squarely against the wall, Gumio was on match point facing a potential clean sweep. If victory was to be Gumio's, he would need to bring out something exceptional. Up until this point, Classic had been responding perfectly to everything thrown at him. During the fourth match, a series of blunders by Classic culminated in a missed opportunity to destroy Gumio's third command centre. This gave Gumio the opening he needed to construct a menacing army of battle cruisers and Thors, which ultimately overwhelmed Classic, earning Gumio his first win of the series. The map of King's Cove began with neither player opting to go for a gimmicky strategy. Instead, they both showed respect to each other and decided to play a straight-up mechanical game. Like, even if mathematically Gumiho got a lead early on, Classic just keeps having perfect control with small armies, with big armies. And at the end of the day, Gumiho loses that last big fight and then Classic storms across the map and murders the rest of whatever Gumiho has. Both players were looking incredibly strong as they entered the mid game with three bases each and a large army to boot. Anyways, he's still playing. Timing his attack with the completion of his level 2 upgrades, Classic stormed the front of Gumio's base. Even though Gumio had a formidable number of siege tanks, the attack came before his own level 2 upgrades had completed. This resulted in Classic completely steamrolling through Gumio's army and destroying his base entirely. This final strike won Classic the first GSL Super Tournament for the 2019 season, awarding him 10 million Korean won for his outstanding effort. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.